In this video, we're going to learn how to use the apply function in R. Now, the apply function lets you execute another function across a given margin or axis of a multi-dimensional data object. So essentially, it lets you take a function and apply it to every single column or every single row of a data frame, depending on what you pass in as the argument for which margin you want to run the function on. So we'll start by just giving a basic example of how to use apply. So you call the apply function. The first argument you pass in is the data object you want to run the function on. Generally, this would be a data frame. Apply will work on other multi-dimensional objects too, though. So you could pass in, say, a matrix or an array instead of a data frame. And for the second argument, fun, you pass in the function you want to apply across the margin you select. So in this case, we're just going to get the median. And the final argument is the margin. And this selects which dimension of the multi-dimensional data object you are going to apply the function across. In the case of a data frame, setting the margin equal to one will apply your function across the rows of the data frame. And setting the margin equal to two will apply the function across the columns. So in this case, with the margin set to two and the function set to median, this call to apply is going to get us the median of every single column or every single variable in the empty cars data set. So let's run this and see that that is the result. So you can see we got a single value for each column, which should be the median. And now I'll just give an example of applying a function across rows instead. So here we have a custom function defined this time. It's just going to provide a text readout of some of the different columns in the data frame. And what we're going to do is again apply to the same data set. This time we're going to use our custom stat readout function as the function. And we're going to change the margin to one. So it's going to apply this function across all the rows. And so we'll run that and see what the result is. You can see that for each row, which is a different car, we have a custom readout that was printed by our custom function. Now in our first two examples, the functions we ran only took a single argument. You can see here stat readout only required one argument x, but you can pass additional arguments to apply as well if your function needs that. So we'll just show how to do that below. We've here defined another custom function, stat readout custom. This time it takes two arguments x and another argument called args that is going to be a vector of other arguments that the function is going to use. So if we want to apply this function, we have to specify what these additional arguments are going to be. So then after the margin, we can pass in any number of additional named arguments that we need to. So this function requires an argument called args. So here we're going to say comma args, and then we're going to pass in what those arguments are going to be. In this case, we're going to set them equal to some different columns that we want to print out values for. So we're going to pass in MPG and weight. So let's run this to apply our custom stat readout to the rows and see what the result is. You can see it's printed out some information again as character strings, but the extra information that's printed here was determined by our extra arguments. So since we passed in MPG and weight, those are the extra stats that were added into the sentence, and we could change those to anything else or take things out and we would get something different. So if we wanted to say change weight to disp, we could rerun this and then our sentence has that stat in it instead. Anytime you want to do something to every single column or every single row of a data frame, it's good to keep the apply function in mind. You could do this sort of thing by writing a for loop that goes over each column or each row manually and sequentially, but that is typically going to be slower to execute than the apply function, which is vectorized, so it can apply functions across all the values all at once instead of having to look at each item sequentially. So I hope you found this video useful, and I'll see you again next time. All the code used in this video is available in the description below. If you found this video useful, drop a like, and if you're interested in more data science content, hit subscribe.